saw. If it were not so, I would have told I you. I would have told you. I go to prepare a place. I what? I go. I go where? Where is he telling you he's going? To prepare a place for you. Yes. And if I go and prepare a place for you. Yes, I will. I will come again. I will come again. Read on. And receive you. And do what? And receive you. Now you hear what he said. Amen. I'm going. I'm in my, in my father's house and many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. You don't believe it. You don't have to believe it. But I do. Read on. Amen. My I, father's house and many mansions. Amen. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go. So he'll tell you where he's going. Jesus even told you where he was going. Amen. I want you to just jump now to go uh, to uh, 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 verse chapter 14. And go to verse 28. You're in 14 already. Go to 28. Ye have heard. Ye have heard. How I said unto you. How I said unto you. I go away. I go away. And come again. And come again. Unto you. Unto. Unto you. Amen. If ye loved me, if you love me, you would rejoice. You would rejoice because I said, "I go unto the Father." Come on, my brother. I know the way, the truth, and the life. Go to Saint John seventeen. Amen. Go to Saint John seventeen and verse five. And now, and O now, Father, yes, glorify me, glorify me, thou me with thine own self, with thine own self, with the glory, with the glory which I had, which I had with thee, with thee before the world was, before the world was. Amen. We know something about who Jesus is. Amen. Before the world was, we know who he is. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, we beheld His glory, as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. He was in the world, the world was made by Him, the world knew Him not. We know who He is, and yet it said that God in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We know who He is. We know who He is, and we know where He is. We know where He's coming back from. Amen. Go ahead, my brother. Go to uh, 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 John 16 and 16. Go to John 16 and 16. St. John 16 and 16. A little while. A little while. And ye shall not see me. And you shall not see me. And again. And again. A little while. A little while. And ye shall see and me. And you shall see me. Because I go because to I, the Father. Because I go to what? <laughs> to the Father. I go to the Father. Jump over to St. John 6. Just go back a few there. Go to chapter 6 and verse 62. Chapter 6 and verse 62. Amen. Read on. What and if? What and if? Ye shall see. You the, shall see the Son of Man. The Son of Man ascend up. Ascend up where he was before. Uh oh, you mean to say that the Scripture backs up itself? Amen. Many of you don't believe the Word of God, but it said that. Read that again. Who, who was talking? Amen. Who was talking? Jesus. Jesus. Read on, brother. What and if? Well, what and if? You shall see. You shall see. He was talking to you, you, you unbelievers. If you don't believe God, I, I have reasoned this in my heart and in my mind. And I've asked a very simple question. That, 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 that if you don't believe what is written in the word of God, then who is answering your prayers? Who is answering your prayers? What condition uh, is your life in? In truth, not what it looks like on the outside, but what, what is it like on the inside? What condition is your life in? If you don't believe the word of God, what condition is your life in? Huh? And who is answering your prayer? I know in whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. I know in whom I have believed. I know. If you don't believe the word of God, who's answering your prayers? Read that again for me. What and if? What and if? You shall see. You shall see. The Son of Man. The Son of Man. Ascend up. Ascend up. Where he was before. Where he was before. My God. You don't even believe the word. Who's answering your prayers? Who are you talking to? Who are you praying to? Huh? Because you don't believe the word. Amen. Go with me to Matthew 6 and 28. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 28. Yeah. Yes. 
and why take ye thought for raiment? Yeah, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 28. Yes, sir. Matthew 6, verse 28. Thank you, my brother. And why take ye thought for raiment? Yes. Consider the lilies of the field. Yes. How they grow. Yes. They toil not. They toil not. Neither do they spin. Neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you. I say unto you. That even Solomon. Yes. In all his glory. Yes. Was not arrayed like one of these. Yes. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, yes. which today is, yes. and tomorrow is, yes. cast into the oven, Amen. shall he not much more clothe ye he looks you? After, he looks after his own. Go to Acts chapter 19 and verse, Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Go there for me. Acts 3 verse 19. Amen. Repent ye therefore. Repent ye therefore. And be converted. And be converted. That your sins. That your sins. May be blotted may out. May be blotted out. When the times of refreshing. When the times of refreshing. Shall come. Shall come. From the presence. From. From, from the presence. From the presence. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. Read on. And he shall send Jesus and Christ. And he shall send who? Jesus Christ. Read on brother. Which before, which before was preached unto you, was preached unto you, whom the heaven, whom the heavens must receive. Come on, read that again. Whom what? Whom the heaven, yes, must receive. Read that again. Whom the heavens, whom the heaven must must receive. Go to Acts chapter one and verse eleven. Go to Acts chapter one and verse eleven. Come on, brother. Acts one verse eleven. Which also said, which also said, ye men of Galilee, ye men of Galilee. Why stand ye? Gazing? Why stand ye gazing? Go back to verse ten. And while they looked steadfastly, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, toward heaven, as he went up, as he went up, behold, behold, two men, two men stood by them. Come on, brother, is telling you how he went up. Read on. Two men stood by them. Yes. In white apparel. That's right. Read on. Which also said, which also said, ye men of Galilee, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye why gazing? Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Up into heaven, this same Jesus, this same Jesus, which is taken up, which from is taken you, up from you into heaven, into heaven, shall so come, shall so come in like manner, in like manner, as ye have seen, as ye have seen him go him into go. heaven. Have you seen him do what? Go into heaven. Have you seen him do what? Go into. Heaven. Come on now. I've given you more. Listen, I could keep going. I could keep going. The scriptures do not contradict themselves. They interpret themselves. I could keep going. Now, for you out there that don't believe what I've just read, I call you a liar still. Amen. And you got people following you. It's a matter of time before they know you're a liar. It's a matter of time before they, when your back is turned, they'll say of you, but he does not even believe the word of God. Listen, if you want to be saved, if, if people want to be saved, they're going to sit down and say, that man does not even believe what's written in the word. How am I going to follow man, uh, an apostate? Amen. How am I going to follow an apostate man, an apostate preacher, who does not even believe the written word of God? It's written down, he does not believe it, will tell you it's not true. Go back to Galatians chapter 1 and verse 1. I wasn't finished. Galatians 1 and verse 11. I wasn't finished there. That's where I started. That's where I'm going to end. Amen, Galatians 1 and verse 11. Amen, Galatians 1 and verse 11. Amen. Galatians 1 and verse 11. Amen. Read it for me. But I certify. But I certify. You. you. See, you don't believe the word. But it's all I have. Peter said, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, give unto you. Rise, take up your bed and walk. Remember what did Paul say? But I certify. But I certify you. Can't get better than this. Can't get better than this. Can't get more than this. 
Those of you seeking a sign, you're not going to get one. You're looking for more than what's written, you're not going to get it. You're looking for a deeper mystery than what's written right here, you're not going to find it. Many of you out there saying, I need a deeper mystery. Amen. Sometimes they mystify the scriptures. Amen. These are, listen, these are cults. These are people that are not in the church. They mystify the word of God. So you cannot get it. Amen. They want you to walk right by it. They mystify it to the point that you don't understand it. But I'm here, listen, Christ said, I have come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Not that you read it and you won't understand it. But it is taught here to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You've got to study the word. You've got to try the spirit, whether it be of God. The only way to try it is with the word of God. And if you cannot try by the word, leave it alone. Read on, brother, for I certify. But I certify you, brethren. Yes, that the gospel. That the gospel. Which was, which preached, was preached of me. Paul was preaching the gospel. But you've got to know what the gospel is. Read on. Which was preached of me. Which was preached of me. Is not after man. Is not after man. Yes. For I neither received it of man. I neither received it of man. Neither was I taught it. Neither was I taught, taught it. But by the revelation. But by the revelation. But by the revelation. I want you to read it loud and clear. But by the revelation. Of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. Paul received the revelation. And you might say, what is the revelation? Jesus Christ is the revelation. I heard a man say that Paul never received the revelation. The revelation of what? I'm not in a cult. I'm not in a mystical assembly. I'm in a school where, where Christ, God said I've spoken nothing in secret. Amen. What I say unto one, I say unto all. I'm not in a cult. I'm not in a mystical assembly. I'm not in a place where only I understand and no one else does. Because I have spoken nothing in secret. What God said to one, God said to all. Amen. Paul said, he said, for I neither received it of man. Man didn't give it to Paul. Man didn't teach Paul. He said, I neither received it of man. Neither was I taught it. You can say of yourself that Paul didn't get it. But by the revelation of Jesus Christ, Paul said, Paul said, go over to Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 3. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 3. I'm finishing up now. Amen. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 3. Come on, that's my last scripture. Before I jump to Revelation chapter 20 and verse 11. I'll tell you what's going to happen if you don't get right with God. I'll tell you what's going to happen if you don't get right with God. Go on, Ephesians 3 and verse 3. Read that aloud for me. How that by revelation. How that by revelation. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. How that by revelation. Yes. He may know unto me. He may know unto me. Unto me. The mystery. The mystery. As I wrote afore. As I wrote afore. A few words. A few words. Whereby. Whereby. When you read. When you read. You may understand. You may understand. My knowledge. My knowledge. In the mystery of Christ. In the what? In the mystery of Christ. Jesus Christ is the revelation. Heard a man said, Paul never received the revelation. He received it and more. It, Jesus Christ is the revelation. That's why when you get to revelation, listen, man wrote it, but it's still what God told man to write. Amen. Look at what, look at what they headed up. Revelation, revelation, the revelation of Saint John the Divine. What does that mean? Because when it said the revelation of Saint John, who did John go on to speak about? He went on to listen. Revelation chapter 1, it begins, the revelation of Jesus Christ. 
You see, when you talk about the revelation, it's because you don't understand what the revelation is. Jesus Christ is the revelation. Jesus Christ is not only God, he's the Son of God. He is the revelation. It is him who was revealed. That's why John said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. He who was not revealed, no, no one had seen. Amen. He was promised from the Old Testament. He was the seed that was promised but was never given until the New Testament time when John saw him manifested in the flesh. And Jesus, when he came, said, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets, but to fulfill. John said the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. Same revelation that Paul had. John had, but John had a deeper revelation because John went on to talk about the things that were to come. Paul was talking about the condition of man's soul, his life, what a man needed to do to get right with God. Acts 2, 38, repent and be baptized in one of you. The name of Jesus Christ came from Peter. All these apostles had a deep, but John had a deeper revelation of Jesus Christ and of the things to come. Go with it. Revelation chapter 20, verse 11. We're finished now. Revelation 20, verse 11. Read that through nice and fast, old brother. If they don't get it yet, they won't get it again. Don't get it yet, then they don't want it. Revelation chapter 20, verse 11. What's going to happen if you don't get right with God? Read on, brother. And I saw a great white throne. And I saw a great white throne. And him that sat and on it. And him that sat on it. From whose face. From whose face. The earth and the heaven. The earth and heaven. Fled away. Come on, brother. Read on. And there was found no place there for them. There was found no place for them. And I saw the dead. I saw the dead. Small and great. Small and great. Stand before stand God. Stand before God. And the books were open. And the books were open. And another book was and open. And another book was open. Which is the book of life. Which is the book of life. And the dead were judged. And the dead were judged. Out of those things. Out of those things. Which were written in the books. Which were written in the books. According to their works. According to their works. And the sea gave up the dead. And the sea gave up the dead. Which were in it. Yes. And death and hell. And death and hell. Delivered up the dead. Delivered up the dead. Which were in them. Which were in them. And they were judged. And they were judged. Every man. Every man. According. According. To their words. Listen now. You may not believe that I've preached this before. And I've told you that the same words that Christ spoke. He said the words which I speak shall judge you in the last day. The same words that are preached in the scriptures. He wants to deny. Let a man deny the word of God. And want to change it. And tell you the New Testament. But it's not scripture. You're going to be judged by what's written in it. You're going to be judged by what's written in the New Testament. Read on, brother. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. Yes. And death and, and, death and hell were delivered up the dead which were in them. Yes. And they were judged every man. Every man. According to, according their, works. to their works. Read on. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Yes. This is the second death. This is death. the second death. And whosoever, and whosoever was not found, was not found written, written in the book of life, in the book of life, was cast into was the, cast into the lake of fire. Come on, brother, finish up. Amen. Acts two thirty eight. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, and the promises unto you, and to your children, and to all that are far off. Even as many as the Lord your God shall call. And with many other words they testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this unto one that is this hell bound generation. Amen. You've got to get right with God. You've got to get right with God today. Amen. You've got to get right with God. Amen. You've got to get right with God before it's too late. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Read on. Amen. Sing that song. Amen. <laughs> Jesus died. Yes, he died for me. When Jesus rose, Jesus rose. Yes, he rose for me. When Jesus comes, Jesus comes. He will come for me. Oh, when Jesus comes, he comes. He will come for me. Sing again. When Jesus lived, Jesus lived, yes, he lived for me. When Jesus died, Jesus died, yes, he died for me. When Jesus rose, Jesus rose, yes, he rose for me. When Jesus comes, Jesus comes, he will come for me. Oh, when Jesus comes, Jesus comes, come for me. Amen. For you, I'm praying.
Christ, him of whom we have preached. Amen. We have preached and not denied the word, but we seriously received it. Lord God, even as it was preached, amen, by them back then, and, and given to them and given to us uh, what I've said to one, I've said to all, that which is given to them is given to us. I pray today that you sanctify. Lord God, remember those that are here, Lord, that they may hear and ab abide by that which they've heard in Jesus' name. Remember the sick, the frail, the weak, the back sleep. Remember those that have gone another way. Oh God, thou knowest thou alone, knowest that those that be saved shall be saved. I pray today that you bless us, sanctify us, guide us, lead, order our footsteps, guide us and protect us, lead us according to thy will and according to thy way. Give us, Lord God, that which we need, the victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Bind every enemy and every foe, all those that have set themselves against us. May they come to naught, I pray today. They don't believe, but we believe in the word. We believe in the word of Jesus Christ, our no evil. Lord, bring down those because of the weapons of our warfare. They are not carnal, but the mighty through God that pulling down our strongholds. This day, O oh God, I pray that you anoint us from the crown of the souls of our feet, bless our home, our children, our family, my wife. Lord God, God, all those in this room today, Lord, we can strive, uh, those that are not here, through sickness, through ill health, I pray today for them also, I pray you sanctify, guide and protect, keep us on our forces, give us great success, Lord, even the children today, they go out to do the things they're required to do, the oldest Lord among them, even I pray that you go out with them, Lord, in the interviews to the place they go to, the journeys up and down, the, the motorways, the highways, the byways, I pray that you keep us safe, set angels around us, and keep us according to thy word and will, in Jesus' name, all say Amen. Amen. All say amen. amen. All say amen. amen. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Keep it.